right, so here he is, one of the best boxers on this UFC roster, and if this fight was to be contested under the Marquess of Queensbury rules, it would be no contest, but we got an MMA fight here We tonight. would be talking about a one-round fight, because right. there are no fighters in the UFC that can compete with this guy in that one form of combat. Such a great jab, the head movement. It's never on a line. He's constantly going left to right, right to left. It's like a triangle, he's moving. You can never see a stationary target in his approach. And what I truly love about him is his ability to really dig that left body shot yeah. to try and find the liver to end fights. We don't see knockouts like that very often. This man has done this a number of times in the UFC. The sweet science. Some oh, people beautiful. think boxing is simple. It is anything but. This fighter has certainly mastered it. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds. Awesome! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. Ready. Ready to fight? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. We've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Just unable to... Man, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, strike attempt to the midsection is blocked. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Three minutes now to go in the round. What a punch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Ooh, huge body shot. All right, so 
a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab off. Get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagement from this 50-50 position? And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's doing that jab. Officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. This good. Oh, that right hand is on point. Oh, big head kick. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. That's a big hook. on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick-heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effective with it. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. That is how you scramble, folks. Big head kick. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Just out of range with that strike. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Throwing hard in the pocket. Checks the leg kick. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Leg kick. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Oh, 
there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are gonna be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. Takes a deep breath and relax. Let's clear the cobwebs. You got rocked that last round, but you're fine. This round, let's get on your bicycle. Use the You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. That'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Lee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> just missed with the leg kick. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Punch. Oh, he's hurt. He's got him hurt here. Kick lands. Oh! All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh, some of the best kicks you'll see right there, live and in color. Big leg kick lands. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Nice straight punch. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. They continue to exchange. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Nice job of hiding that head kick. And he landed the right hand there. Ooh, what a punch. Great kicks there. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Waning seconds here of round number three. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, that's the end of five minutes. That's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, and that thing is only getting worse. Pretty nasty gash at this point in time. You know he's going to need some sutures after the fact. The focus right now, though, keeping his head in the game. Don't think about the cut. You got to think about getting your offense going and shoring up that defense to prevent that cut from getting any worse. All right, here's round four, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Beautiful leg kick throw. Connects with a right. Trying to double up on that jab. Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, 
straight punch lands. Oh. He needs to start looking for finish now because he's got to go he's very back. Oh, he might be out. Just over three minutes to go. chance to stay in this fight. Fight was over as soon as that kick made flush contact. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched club. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop this contest at two minutes, 41 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Osama. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockouts.